In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Intense, which your bot uses to understand exactly what your user is trying to do. First, we have to create our Intense. Let's say we're building a bot that supports users that are planning to visit our campsite. Let's create some Intense that we know correspond to activities we know our campers are trying to do. So I'll go over here and I'll create an intent called Go Swimming. Cool. Now what we need to do are add some utterances, which are really just examples of phrases or the different variations of your, the way people might express a desire to go swimming. So I'll say things like, I want to go for a swim, go swimming, swim now, swim now please, so on and so forth. Great. Let's do that again for another activity. So let's create an intent called Go Hiking. We'll do the exact same thing and make sure we add enough utterances so our bot is able to reliably detect this intent. Awesome. And for our last intent, let's say that we want our bot to be able to catch whenever a user wants to speak to a human. So I'll create another intent called Speak to Human. And like usual, we'll add a bunch of utterances to make sure our bot can reliably detect this. Cool. Now let's use those intents in our flow. So in the very first node, so when our user begins a conversation, let's say that we ask them for their name using this raw input card. If you've built bots before, you know that users sometimes can jump right to the question they want to ask. Let's make sure that we catch those users too. To do that, we'll use our flow logic cards that are attached to intents. So I'll take this intent card and I'll drag it over to my node here. When I draw a path starting from this intent card, I can create a new node and here, I'll be able to select which intent I want my bot to look out for. So from my library of intents, let's go with the go swimming one. So now, let's say we ask a user for their name, but they indicate a desire to go swimming. Instead, we'll be able to navigate them right down this path. To make sure it works, I'm going to send a simple send message card that says, let's get you swimming. And now, let's go ahead and do that for the other two intents that we built earlier. Alright, now that I've put everything together, let's test it out. You'll see here that I have three separate intent cards, one for each of the intents that we built earlier, and each of them leads to a respective node that satisfies that user's demand. So here in the emulator, I'll say hi, I get asked for my name, but instead I'll say I want to swim and I get sent down the right path. Let's try that again, but this time I'll say, I want to speak to a human. Great, and I get sent down the correct path again. This is how you can use intents and flow logic to capture your user's desire without prompting them with a set of choices every single time. Happy bot building!